Thanks for this Thursday drive time. Uh, joined by special guest in the studio right now, Ali Bastian. Hello, Ali. Hello. Thank uh, you for having me. I'm going to just mention a, th a few things that you've done in your career. Oh, OK. Just so everybody knows <laughs> exactly who you are and what you've been up to. Now, I've kind of followed your career since the H word, Hollyoaks. Oh, thank uh, you. So uh, Ali was in Hollyoaks, uh, in the bill for ages as well. Yep. I remember watching that regularly, seeing you in that. Yeah. Uh, of course, Strictly is, the, uh, is one of the biggies that you've... Uh, done very recently yeah and uh, now on tour with chicago that's right which is at the theater royal in plymouth it is we uh, we opened on monday we're here for a week uh we're here till saturday night um have having fantastic audiences it's been really good week so far how how have you found do people still remember you from hollyoaks is that still the oh you're the i guess because it's where i Hollyoke. started yeah. um i started there when i was 19 and i was there for about six years and i had a really good time on that job it was really good fun and made some amazing friends and got some really you know had the opportunity to work on some really cool storylines and it was a, a really good place to cut my teeth but I guess because it's it's where I started maybe it is it is where people I don't know people seem to remember Becca my my teary face is on it? that program I did a lot of crying and the way you exited the program was quite traumatic it was, as well, wasn't, wasn't it? It? <laughs> it was always a bit traumatic where I was concerned stabbed just stabbed in prison absolutely yeah uh, and uh, of course um you know moving on to the bill yeah, and came then... back to life on the right side of the law okay so why the why the change to performing arts as in theatre or musical? And to be honest, that was really since Strictly. Um, I think doing a show like that, it, in a way, I, prior to that, I've been doing a lot of long running um, dramas, like you were saying. And um, I think when you do a show like Strictly, you, get, you really get that buzz for live performance again. And, uh, I, and I think from a casting point of view, maybe people see you in a different light as well. Um, so, yeah, since then I toured, um, I was down here last year with Agatha Christie um, doing a play called Verdict and then touring this year with, um, with Chicago. So, yeah, I don't know. It just, it's it doing Strictly, I think, in a way, it gave me, it gave me a bit of a shake, picked me up, put me down again. Again and, and sent me on my way doing all this theatre and I'm really, really enjoying it and it, it, I'll always be grateful really for Stri to Strictly for that. Chicago is on at the Theatre Royal till December the 1st. Yes. Uh, you've obviously got the lead role. I have. The main role. Roxy. For anybody who's not aware of the music, I mean it's one of the big musicals isn't it, but for anyone who's not aware of the story, give us a brief sort of rundown of what happens to Roxy and what it's about. Sum it up. Um, she's, another, she's another bad girl. I love playing <laughs> a bad girl. Uh, she, she offers her lover uh, fairly early on in the show and lands up in prison and uh, is basically trying she's a real survivor she's really ambitious and she's always wanted to be a star she's a chorus girl and um she she kind of clocks on that to survive she needs to use the media to her advantage and become a celebrity and uh, it's kind of her rise to the top and then with a bit of a fall from grace as well. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really giving it away. No oh, no! <laughs> um, no, it's good. There's some really strong female parts in it. That's fantastic. I mean, the relationship between Roxy and Velma is really good fun. And um, Velma's in prison when she gets there, and uh, she she rules the roost, so they have, they have a really interesting time together. As I said, it is one of the big musicals. Everybody knows, you know, the major, the major songs, all that jazz, razzle-dazzle. Yeah. Um, and also the choreography by Bob Fosse. Yeah, it's totally inspired by Bob Fosse. Um, it's very stylized and slick. Um, the shows, the the sets built around the bandstand. So the the, ja uh, the jazz band is a really integral part of the show, and they are absolutely incredible. Um, and the action kind of weaves in and out of that. And uh, yeah, just the moment the music starts every night, everybody's just really up for it. And we, have, you know, you get on the crazy train for two hours, and it's fairly non-stop action-packed show. I, I've often wondered because I, I go and watch a lot of uh, musicals and shows i love the idea of touring i think it it, it looks amazing it's really fun actually is it as fun as it looks yeah, or does it get tiring no or? i mean it is the traveling can be tiring we're literally all over the country we flew down from glasgow on sunday opened here on monday we're doing a week in cambridge then we're back up to scotland again um it's yeah it's fairly non-stop but we all live together in houses a lot of the time and it's i don't know it's just a lot of fun and you really do become a big family there's about 50 of us including um crew and uh, musicians on the road together and um, we, we, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I wake up I, you know when this finishes in two and a half weeks we finish the run 
it's going to feel I'm going to feel really bereft I think I'll, we think where are my family like we've been <laughs> we've been together the whole time so what's it what's in the future what, uh, what what have you got coming up can I I wanted to ask you if you were offered the uh, the big TV show at the moment on ITV the uh, the, the jungle oh I'm a God. celebrity would you do that <laughs> or is that oh, a step too far so never <laughs> say never um, but I'm re I don't think it would pan out for me that one I'm not good with heights and, and I don't know if I could eat some of the things you have to eat on that. I don't I don't know how that would go. I think the nation would hate me because I'd be a snivelling mess on that. Thing. When, when are we going to see you back on telly? That's a good question. I, I Hopefully in the new year. Um, I think first thing, I'm going to collapse in a heap at my mum's for Christmas. I think that I'm really excited about that. I just catch up with some friends and family and then see what happens next year. Ali, thanks very much for coming in and chatting this afternoon. It's great to, to meet you. Oh, also, uh, what I should say is, uh, is that uh, the show is on till December the 1st. Yes. And have you found Plymouth audiences so far? Amazing, really good. good. Like, yeah, we've, we're pretty packed out, actually, so I'm sure there are a few tickets left, but um, you've got to get on it if you want to come get see the show before we go on Saturday. Ali, thank you very much. Thank you.